Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Tada Finished for uh, July 2023. Here is a bridal shrug. Well, um, this is my one of my V-neck crop three-quarter sleeve shrugs that I knit. It's red, as you can see. First time knit, um, well, I did knit burgundy and a light, uh, dark pink, but never knit uh, red. And I do have a yarn unboxing for this, uh, for this yarn, so you can go and check it. I did post it on July 2023. Okay, so I did my, you can see the short row, the back is higher and it's a crop for a small size and the mannequin is a medium size just to point out so uh, it can look a little bit small but it's for a small size and the mannequin is for a the mannequin is a medium size okay so I did couple I think two times or three times one here one here and one somewhere here I did short rows so I do have tutorials for these, uh, just posted them on June 2023, so this part will not be longer, even I did that, as you can see it's a tint long, so I must have done, maybe I did two, I should have done three, so that's another thing, but it's it's for the knitter, right, I am, a, I need to be, have it perfection, perfect. So, I wanted to share you this beautiful v-neck reglon. It starts from top down. Okay, so here's the first finish item. I'm going to mail these today, so I'm taking it early in the morning. I woke up early, and uh, so this is how it looks like. Let me put the yellow one in. You guys can look at that one, because I had so many comments messaging me to post the finished look. It's a little bit tough to take uh, tape the red, but when you get closer, you can see the details, I'm sure. Okay, so let me just put the yellow one, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the cannery. It's called cannery light yellow it's the same method i use i need to top down crop three quarter v-neck yeah uh here i did my short rows i don't know i try everything and uh just shows the short rows I did two here, I believe. I think I should do three, I notice, because it's still, it's better, but uh, still gets it, pulls, you know what I mean, these sides, these button uh, band areas. They're not that long, but, uh, and plus I did uh, the, well, the short row, it's, I did, did it, after dividing before dividing the body parts because it shows on here the short rows it shows unfortunately on the angora bolera so i figured the best way to do the short rows is when dividing the body parts for angora rabbit though you can do it for any, any other work it with any other yarn and i do that uh, uh, i don't know what that technique is called i I uh, felt when I'm finishing one yarn to another, when I'm moving to another ball, I felt, and you can see that it's, it's even, uh, unfortunately, it's right at the short row I did it. And then you can see it's noticeable. If I don't do that, what happens is no matter what I do, can you see it? The knot comes out I tried to pull it in I did not see this this yarn it came out this way the yarn so I knitted it and after that I noticed it because I'm a fast knitter 
and I knit these, I think I broke my record, uh, five days, it took me five days to knit these two, well, six days, let's say, but I've been up to late hours to finish them, so now I'm going to mail this to a repeat customer, and I hope she likes them, but uh, this is what it is another finished item so i'm going to pack them and i will mail these so i hope you like the tada video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and don't forget to hit that notification button so every time i post a new video you will be notified indicating there's something new for you to watch happy knitting bye bye